page 108, Chasing the Blues Away. On this page, they're talking about the chords and the blues progression. See, a blues style has a very specific progression or set of chords that follows. And you can count on it. And they give you that. You get four measures of a one chord, two measures of a four chord, two measures of a one chord, one measure of five seven, one measure of four, two measures of a one chord. It's a 12 bar blues progression, okay? They're 12 measures long. And generally when you get a blues piece, you can count on it being four measures of one, blah, 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 the whole bit. It'll be in that. That's, that's blues. And that's what they're presenting to you here. That's the style. If you want to play blues, fine, go for it. You want to make up your own blues pieces, go for it. Follow that chord progression. And you, other than that, do what you want, pretty much. So in Chasing Blues Away, we have the right hand is covering the notes pretty much. Remember the eighth notes are uneven now because it's blues. And watch the fingering. We'll talk a little bit about the finger and the rhythm because of the accidentals. In the right hand, right at the beginning, you have the one and then the F on the two on the F. Use third for F sharp. Just use the fingers. So next measure, the last note is a thumb on the F. That puts you in position for what's coming up. Second line is the same except you got an E flat. Doesn't change anything else. Well, you're going to use second finger on the E flat. We don't generally we won't use a thumb on a black note if we don't have to. So we we'll use second finger on the E flat. And that puts third finger on F, four on F sharp. So you're basically in this position, C position there. Then you're going up to here. Third line, first measure. You have B, 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 B flat, B natural. So watch that. In the last line, third measure, that half note, make sure you hold that down for two counts. Okay, because the left hand is doing something different. So the, when the left hand plays the third count, you lift up the right hand. Rest. Rest. So be, be accurate with how long you're holding these notes down. The left hand just has the chords. Now we want to hold those chords down to the correct length. So in the last two measures of the first line, in each line either, it's one, rest, one, rest, one, two, rest. And yes, the eighth notes are uneven, because that's what we do. So, what's the accidentals? They're all over the place. Watch the phrasing very carefully, because it can make a huge difference. All right, so don't get lazy. Try and do it the way they've written it. And uh, let's try this out. Four, four time. It is repeated. We're going to play it twice. Left hand is chords. Right hand starts here. Right. One, two, ready, go.
Rest. 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 